Hello, Internet. This is Cliff. I have been using the Hyper D45 wheels for a few months now. In this video, I will try to give you a nice look of the wheels and share with you how I feel about it. This is the box of the wheel. The design of the new box is a little different than the old box, and the wheel came with a bag that you can put on the handlebar. Inside the bag, they give you some extra spokes. And this is how the bag looks like on the handlebar. You can put some stuff inside. And this is how the wheel set looks like when I just got it. I always think the Hyper Wheel looks very cool. People will know you are using the Hyper Wheel from far away because it has the special Hyper pattern. We can see the style of the new wheel is the same as the original Hyper. The pattern is like the ribbon wrapped around the ring layer by layer. There is a V-shaped design on the top of each spoke. There are 21 spokes. The pattern on this ring is made up by 21 overlapping Vs. The logo and the color of the ring are similar. People won't see the logo very clear from the distance. But the hyper pattern itself is famous enough. When the ring spins, the light reflects a little. The color is very attractive, especially when it is spinning. The spoke look the same as before with ST01 written on them. This spoke has been on the market for 2 or 3 years already. I noticed in recent years, more and more brands are starting to use the same type of spokes. And many people have done interesting tests on this spoke. And they say these spokes are very strong. I believe what they say, because they look like they are very smart people. The most obvious change of the new model is the height. Before this, Hyper had 3 wheel heights, 38, 50, and 65. This is my Hyper 38, the wheel height is 38. And this is my Black Hyper 50, the height is 50. And this new model also has three different heights. They are D33, D45, and D67. This D45 is the one with the median height, supposed to replace the Hyper 50. However, the wheel height of the D45 is not 45. This is the front wheel, the height is 46. This is the rear wheel, the height is 54. The front and rear heights are different. Although this uneven height design is considered new, this has been around for a while. Envy's wheel sets have always been designed like this. Envy's closest one is probably SES 4.5. Envy say this is their best selling one. The weight is 1452, almost the same as Hyper D45. And by the way, the weight of the Hyper D45 is 1437. My Tarmac SL7 also comes with an uneven height wheel set. This rubber wheel set is low in the front and high in the back. People generally believe higher the wheel, better the aerodynamics. But when wheel is very high, it will be difficult to control in close winds, especially the front wheel. So to make the front wheel lower, it's safer and lighter. That's how the non-equal height design come about. The new Hyper is also a bit wider than original. The width inside changed from 19 to 21. And when measured from the outside, the width of the new wheel is about 28. Let me show you how the tires look like on the rim. This is GP5000 in 25C. It feels very smooth. When measured on this wheel, 25C GP5000 is 27 wide. Let's put on the 28 tire to see. We will use the tubeless setup. This is a 28C Michelin Power Cup, which is also fairly new tire. This tire claims to be even faster than GP5000. I like the looks of this tire a lot, because I think the Michelin logo looks very cute. 
The actual measurement of this 28 tire on this wheel set is 29. And this is how it looks like on a bike. Without mentioning, you might not notice the back wheel is taller than the front one. But once you know that, you will notice it every time. It looks kind of fashion, I think. And this is how the wheel sounds like. I have been using this wheel set for a few months already, and I think it rides pretty okay. The Hyper Wheel are one of the wheel sets that I am very familiar with. This new D45 has a similar light and speedy feel as the previous generation. The speedy feeling mainly comes from the weight, I think. This D45 is slightly lighter than Hyper 50 it replaces. In theory, this one should feel even faster than Hyper 50. But actually I feel pretty much the same. I feel this one feels just as fast as Hyper 50. But this feeling is based on Hyper 50. If this is your first upgrade of wheel set, I believe this wheel set will make you very happy. Just like when I replaced my stuck wheel set to Hyper 50, I was super happy. Riders who have tried carbon spoke wheels often describe these wheels accelerate very fast. Because carbon spokes are about 1.5 times stiffer than steel spokes. I'm just a regular guy rides bike for fun. But when I try to push hard, this wheel do make me feel fast. Even regular people like me can enjoy the benefit of this wheel set, which makes me very happy. The road feel is very nice too. It feels comfortable enough on rough surfaces and feels smooth and fast on good asphalt. However, I think the smooth and comfortable feeling are mostly in the tires, which means the Michelin Power Cup is a very comfortable tire. This new Hyper D45 is used to replace their Hyper 50. Simply put, the main difference is they make the back higher to improve aero and make the front lower to improve handling. I'm not fast enough to notice if it is more aero, but I do feel it handles pretty well. Maybe it is my illusion, but somehow I feel it is even better handled than Hyper 50. I use this wheelset many times on open and windy roads. It handles fine even with strong close wind. The wheel handles just like Hyper 38 and Zip 303 that I also have. And this D45 maintains speed just like a taller wheel feels. So I guess this uneven height design does make sense. This wheel set feels like it has good balance between aerodynamics and safety. The weight is also very competitive. I'm happy with this wheel. And that's my story of using the new Hyper D45. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.